Hey guys, welcome to my first world edit tutorial. So today I'm going to teach you guys how to use the brush sphere bundle that you can get at Warp Shop on MMB. So the first thing you want to do is pick a tool to bind your command to. So I'm going to pick a diamond axe. You can pick any of the tools, even the swords, except for the wooden axe because this is already used to set your positions in world edit. Okay, so now we need to start typing in the command. Now the command is dash br sphere, but now you need your other parameters. See? So you need pattern and radius. So I want to use quartz because I'm going to be doing terraforming and quartz has a nice hard edge and when I'm smoothing it allows me to see the details a lot better. Okay, so the next one is the size of the sphere that you want. The max size you can use is 5, but for terraforming the best size to use is 4. Okay, so now that we have the command binded to our tool, I'm going to start making the terraforming. So, the shape I want is kind of like a horseshoe shape with some water in the middle and maybe an island. So I'm going to start by just right clicking all around the plot and getting kind of the shape that I want laid out. So I'm not worried about height right now, I just want to get the shape the right way. Alright. I don't really like the way this corner, I'm going to round it out a little bit more. Yeah, okay, that's a pretty good shape. So now I'm going to raise up the sides a little bit. So just continue to go out. I'm trying not to double it up or make it too thick right now. Just one on top of the other, kind of leaning back a little. So now that I'm kind of happy with the height, I'm just going to go around one more layer and kind of try to overhang the top a little bit. So I'm going to come just a little bit closer to the edge and make it kind of overhanging. Nothing extreme. I don't want it to be too much. It'll be mostly emphasized when I finish the smoothing. This is just to kind of help me out. And if you wanted for this, you could switch to a smaller sphere, but I'm going to do this after. Alright, so now we've got the general shape of our cliffs, so the rest of the plot just needs to be filled in. So for this, I'm going to increase the size of the brush. Now if you wanted to, if you were going for a big build, you could make cave systems very easily with this and make them very wide instead of these very narrow cave spaces. This way if you're getting your plot checks, the moderators are sure to see them. It really gives you room to add a lot more detail. You can really do any shape with this, like I don't have to make it all flat up here, I could do a big mountain range, something like that, but for the purposes of this video, I'm just going to do some pretty simple terraforming. So now we can see the shape of our terraforming pretty well. And the next step is to hand smooth it. So we're going to get our quartz block out and just start smoothing everything. I'm only going to show a bit of this process because it does take a very long time.
right so that's kind of a cool shape there and this has already got kind of a cool shape it just needs to be smoothed out a little bit you don't want to have any of these one by one blocks here kind of makes it look rough All right, so you continue that process along all the way around. But for right now, I'm going to kind of skip that step and go into digging out the floor here. So I need the BR Sphere tool again. So I'm going to change this tool from quartz to air in order to dig into the ground. So I'm going to set it to air and size four again. And I'm just going to start digging away the dirt here because I want there to be water. That's dug out pretty well. Now it's got to be smooth as well. I will likely replace all of this with quartz in order to smooth it. It'll just be easier. Alright guys, so as you can see, I've replaced the floor with quartz and smoothed it out. I've pretty much got all the walls smoothed out, there's just some small tweaking to be done before I finish it up. So now I'm moving on to smoothing out the top. As you can see, I've started with this side over here and I'm just trying to smooth it out by making circles and kind of just flattening out all these little bumps. So I'm going to work on that now and I'll be right back with you guys to start finishing touches. Alright guys, so as you can see, I've pretty much finished smoothing all of the quartz out. So now I'm going to move on to the final step with the quartz. And that's overhanging some grass over the edge. Now it's obviously not grass right now, but we're going to pretend it is. So what we're going to do is type slash BR Sphere 155, and this time I'm going to go with brush size 1. And I'm going to just go all along this edge, turning off async. And just kind of overhang it a little bit. I'm not going to smooth this out in this step. I'm going to wait until I have the colors put in. And I'm going to overhang it a little bit more with the actual block that I end up using for grass. Alright guys, so this is the final step in making this terraforming look natural. We have to add color to it. This is where the mask tool comes in. Well, it's not so much of a tool as an option. We're going to set our tools like normal. So using slash BR, sphere, the block we want, which in this case our main block is going to be 1. 
that's stone. So then I'm going to pick the size. I'm going to go with three for painting it. You might want to scale it down a little bit if you want to go slower. It'll just do a smaller area. So now comes the key part. We have to mask it to only change the quartz because right now if we just place it, it'll make a sphere. What we want it to do is mask 155 so then when we place it, it doesn't ruin any of the smoothing we do. So now I'm going to set the rest of our brushes. So it's just BR, sphere, the block I want. This one I'll do four for the cobble. And I'm going to do size three again. Next one, same idea, but I'm going to use the wool, which is 35, seven. And I'm going to do a smaller brush size. And finally the clay, 159, nine and I'm gonna do size three again so now I want to use the darker wool in these little areas like this whoops easy mistake forgot to mask all the rest of my tools it's just like this mask each of these tools so now I can go ahead with the wool and it won't ruin anything so I think this is actually too large of a brush I'm gonna go back and make it just a size one. That'll help me get little areas. So I'm gonna strategically place it in areas where it would be darker, where it insets a little bit, because this is the darkest color that I've chosen on my palette. So here's the transformation of the cliffs. Now for the top area. All right, so for the final step, I've got to paint over the top of this with the grass color. So I've selected the colors of grass that I want and I have them in my inventory. So I'm gonna bind them to this tool now. So I BR, sphere, and then the blocks. This time I'm gonna do it a little bit differently. Instead of having four different tools for four different blocks, I'm gonna put all the blocks on one tool. So to do this, I'm going to do percents of each block because I don't want an even amount of each one. I want different amounts. So I'm going to do 10% of 88, which is the soul sand, comma. Then I'm going to do 10% of 35, 13. Sorry, 13, comma, 40%. 159, 13, and 40%, 159, 5. And I'm going to do brush sphere 5. It's already masked to the quartz, so I don't have to type in this command again. You can see this gives a pretty cool effect. So it doesn't have as much soul sand as it would if I left it even. So I'm just gonna paint over the entire surface with this brush. All right, so that's it for the painting. Here's the final product of our terraforming. It looks a little weird with nothing on it. 
And some smoothing has still got to be done on these edges. So I would just go along and overhang some grass, give some textures, add in some different things, smooth it out. But everything with world edit and terraforming on this plot is finished. I won't be using any more sphere tools. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and learned something from it. And I hope to see your plots on MMB improve a lot using this technique. Thanks for watching. See you.